everybody welcome back today we are gonna be doing some more decluttering i know i'm sure you're so happy i still feel so tired and overwhelmed just super out of it but i don't know if decluttering is gonna help or not but sure as hell can't hurt am i right <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to tackle the, if I'm being honest with myself, the three areas in my home that I know just need to be like dug out, looked through and sorted. And one of them is right there. There's a drawer with video games that my boyfriend has gone through recently enough that I know that there's nothing in there that is a problem. The middle one, which is what I'm talking about. It has millions of cords. I don't even know where to start. And then the one on the side has just a couple of candles because I've decluttered a lot of other ones. Speaking of, I actually need to get rid of this candle because it's burnt out now. There's like a centimeter of wax left. <laughs> so let's get started. I don't really know how to set you guys up. That would be the best way to do this. I could probably just like walk you guys through what I'm dealing with. <laughs> do you wanna take a, take a look? Do you wanna take a little look-see of what we're dealing with? Ooh, what the heck? Okay. I feel like the best way to deal with it is to just take everything out and go from there. Okay, so like I mentioned last week, not all of this stuff is ours. Some of it is Ray's older sister's stuff. So she's already taken everything that she wants and needs. So we can sort through the rest, and figure out what we need or want. Should I make a separate bag or box of this? Because this is all electronic trash. I don't know how I feel about user guides and user manuals, but I don't know what to do with them. All right, we're starting with a blank slate. Now I need to go through all of this. I don't even know where to start. The thing about all of this, okay, this I have to keep because it actually goes to the ceiling fan that's up there. It's just broken, we haven't fixed it yet. These are two perfectly good charging cables that I need to figure out what to do with. This is definitely gonna be decluttered. Okay, we got the throwaway trash and then we've got the recycling and then we've got the I have no freaking idea pile. So the thing about like this kind of stuff when you're looking through like electronics and things, yes, theoretically you would keep it because it looks official like it needs to be somewhere but at the same time like if i needed it i probably would have been looking for it by now you know what i mean i'm assuming that it's just like a cover slash cap for something that goes on one of our tvs so i'm gonna check to see but otherwise it's just gonna get thrown out because I, like probably just don't need it this literally have absolutely no clue what this is and it's labeled as something that is Ray's older sisters so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it or she would have taken it when she visited and then there's just so many cables this is a crappy crappy quality phone cable that is completely unnecessary charging block which is fine okay another completely unnecessary phone charging cable. Another unnecessary phone charging cable. This one is the one that's USB-C on both sides. I know that that actually goes to something. And this is my Kindle charger. So I'm gonna plug that into this and have this just be my Kindle charger. Again, I have no idea what this does. It might be the plug for this Xbox. I don't know. This is in the I don't know what to do with a pile. This is the charger for my Bose headphones, but I'm gonna put this in my case. This is another crappy phone charger. There's two other ones of the same kind of quality, but better, actually better quality. Okay, this says Nintendo. This says Nintendo GameCube, so this is definitely needs to be kept. What? This is definitely needs to be kept. Yeah, good job. This definitely needs to be kept. Okay, 
I believe this is the charging cable to my like vacuum cleaner stain remover thing, but I'm gonna check. So for now, this is gonna go in the I don't know pile. I'm also not sure what exactly this is supposed to charge, but I will keep it in the I don't know pile for now. This is another short charger and it has the Google logo on it. Can't think of what this could possibly be for, but I have one that is the exact same thing right there. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to this. I have no clue what that is, so I'm gonna ask and I don't know what this is either I'm gonna find out okay great this for sure I'm getting rid of all that though okay that really wasn't as bad as I thought now I have to put everything back into the drawer that really wasn't as dramatic as I needed to make it seem <laughs> but now is for the part that I'm actually dreading, which is going through the closet. I just need to get on with it. Let's go. Hey guys. <laughs> it's uh, a few hours later. <laughs> what was I doing? Cleaning this out. First, let me get the jackets out of the way. Let's see what we're working with here. We've got paint, bubble wrap, more paint, and random assorted, couldn't tell ya. So, I feel like I just kind of have to go through it. Okay, so this is the color that used to be the color in our room. Now, it is the color for none of the rooms in this house. So, I'm gonna get rid of it. I actually have no idea how you're supposed to properly dispose of paint, so I'll have to figure that out. This is a silver paint, and this is trim paint. Okay, I'll keep them. Okay, then we have the orange, which obviously is from the living room. And we've got some primer, which I will keep as well. Brushes. This is for shoes. Okay, this is the bag I can Move that somewhere else. Bag of random wood scraps. Polyurethane, keeping it. More polyurethane, keeping it. A hard hat, but weirdly enough, keeping it. Because we do a lot of demolition and stuff here. I also have a helmet. I guess I'll keep both of those because I think we only have one hard hat. Sorry I keep yawning, I'm just so tired. I literally can't stop being tired. I just feel so exhausted all the time. More paint. So this is door paint. See, this is flat black. I accidentally bought this. So I might just bring it downstairs to see if anyone in the building wants it because it's not good for doors. Like the flat, it needs to be shiny because there's just scuffs all over the doors now. Cause I didn't know. Okay, the hallway paint. I think I can put those. There's two of them. Okay, this is the old shower head. I don't know why this is in here. This should have been thrown away. It's so old and like gross. <laughs> and down here we have some more toilet paper there okay making progress another jacket this is all like stuff that my boyfriend needs for some of his like carpentry jobs i'm gonna take that out this is a tripod i don't know why that's in there drum hardware this feels like mary poppins freaking closet a level put that there for now these can probably just be thrown away because I don't think they're for anything necessarily. Got some plant pots. I need to declutter and repot some of my plants, so that's probably going to be a video that's coming up soon, as soon as I have the actual energy to muster up to do that. But 
a couple of my things need to be repotted. So I'm gonna see which ones of these I can use to repot things and then I will declutter all the rest of my pots. And honestly, the rest down there, I don't know if you can see. You can't, that's why I'm bringing you. It's all just like tools and stuff, but okay. This is so much better because there's just like a tiny pile of random things right there. And I can put the um, helmets and stuff right there. And then everything else is way more organized. Oh my gosh. Because all of the paint stuff is here. Other random things are here. And then all of our towels, paper toweled goods are there. And then I'm getting rid of random wood and these two little paint cans. Oh my gosh. If I knew how easy that was going to be, I would have done it. <laughs> So long ago. I'm gonna hang the jackets back up. If there's one skill that retail and doing laundry for a living can give you, is deadlifting a hundred hangers at a time. I'm so happy. Now the remains, which is you guys were on this thing, which we're actually gonna be moving out of here. Ray found it on the street and he's gonna move it into the studio, I think. Moving this. I actually don't have a specific place that I keep all of my camera equipment, but I'm going to turn the guest room, AKA this area, into my like office. Space. I was kind of using it this morning actually for the first time in my life because uh, we've kind of just been sharing Ray's studio office. Anyways, now I'm just like telling you guys little updates. I have to now wash this, which was at the bottom of that whole situation. It's covered in dog hair. It's my, um, what's it called? What is it called? My smock? My apron? Yeah, for pottery but i haven't been in there in a while anyways this needs to go by my other plant slash ridiculous area of terrifying stuff it's literally just that little corner of death that i need to sort out but i will do that in a video soon with more of a plant focus because that ooh. <laughs> That needs to be done. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I got a new little tattoo. It's not gonna focus. Is it gonna focus? It's a little lemon. And then I got this as well. Oh, is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? It's a 333. I got it for Jack, who if you haven't been here for a while, is Ray's family dog that passed away last year. And, um, I loved him very much. I lived with him for the last two and a half years that he was alive and he was very special to me. We had a really, why am I going in here? We had a really close bond when he was alive. I took care of him a lot and I loved him so much. This past week after I've gotten that tattoo, I've just been crying about it every day. <laughs> because the grief just has felt so fresh since getting that tattoo. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted a song because Ray is in a band, if you didn't know that either. Ray is my boyfriend, in case some of you are very new and you're still watching this video, I'm honestly shocked. Ray is my boyfriend, he's in a band and he just released an EP. And, hi Flip. He just released an EP and the final song on it is called The End and it's inspired by our loss of Jack. And uh, it's a really sweet song and it makes me cry every time I hear it. So you should go check out the new EP because it's really, really good and I'm super proud of him and how like well it turned out and everything. But anyways, that's just a little shout out for my boyfriend. Their music is really good. You should definitely go listen to it. I'll put a link in the description. But anyways, um, I feel like at the beginning of this video, I was like, yeah, there's like three, four, I don't even remember what I said, places that I need to declutter and uh, I feel like I'm just delaying the inevitable because I've been talking about this for months now and Ray has been badgering me to do it because this is the last 
uncharted frontier of decluttering that I haven't even touched yet and it's my sock drawer. Or did I do this a few weeks or months ago? I honestly don't even remember. Okay, I've definitely decluttered some of my socks now that I think about it, but I have more that I could do. Like it's, I have more that I could declutter. So let's take a look and see. Okay, everyone, we're in here. Also, it's not even 6 p.m. and it's already starting to get dark outside, so. Hello, seasonal depression. I'm not ready for you. Uh, okay, actually this is not as bad as I thought. These are all the socks. Okay, now that I'm showing it, it is pretty bad. <laughs> Those are all the socks that me and my boyfriend own together, but to be fair, it's mostly mine. It's mostly mine. Um, yeah, so clearly I have a problem. Um, let me actually go through some of these singular socks because if I can't find the mates for them right now, like right here, right now, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna get booted out of here. Um, okay, so there's a couple of socks right off the bat that I know that I can get rid of. One of them being these Harry Potter socks, just cause I don't reach for them. Clothes recycling, perfect. These ones too, another pair of Harry Potter socks. I'm just not very much into that Harry Potter life anymore. It was a huge part of my life at one point, but nowadays, not so much. I feel like I'm just gonna make the decision to get rid of these because they're super stretched out. The elastic basically doesn't exist anymore. Those are Ray's actually, but I don't think he'll mind. Let me just see if there's any other singles floating around in here. Uh, I definitely don't wear those, these very often. The elastic is also stretched out on those, so I'll declutter those. What else? Some of these other ones are raised, but I feel like he doesn't wear them. But it's also like, it's not my place to get rid of something if he doesn't wear it. It's only my place to get rid of something if it's like actually damaged or messed up. So let me just put that down for a second and like go to this pile right here. I am so freaking sad. I don't know where the other one of this sock went and at this point it's just gone, but like it's so heartbreaking to me because I loved these socks. Ugh, I got them in England too, so there's like no way I'll be able to get another pair. Okay, there's a pair of Nikes. These ones too, I'm so sad. I don't know where the other one went. Dude, like who takes the socks? Is it like a little gremlin in the night? I just, I don't get it. Like why do socks disappear? Never to be found again. Ugh, are there any matching ones? Is anyone else like low-key confused by boy socks? I feel like they all look so similar that I just like, I'm so confused all the time. Like what the heck is this? It's the same sock. Okay, clearly there's no matches to either of these socks, which is really sad because I know that Ray really liked these as well, but these have been in that bag for so long. This one too, I don't know where the other one is, but they're also like super threadbare on the bottom. So what can you do after a certain point, you know? Oh, there we go, there's a match. Okay, these I literally just got, so there's no way that one is missing. It's definitely still in the wash, so I'm gonna leave that. There's a really good chance that these got separated as well. Everything else is not a pair that has a match. Or they're super threadbare and nasty. Okay, goodbye. Single socks. That was a nice little chunk right there. Okay, these are all the single ones. They're pretty minimal. I actually have no idea where my Christmas socks are and uh, if you've been around for a while you need to be like a real OG for this and not even like an OG on YouTube like you need to actually know me in real life to know about this lore about me <laughs> but I have this thing that I do every Christmas I didn't do it last year because I was traveling but 
Every year I jump around like a little squirrel or something and I show off all of my Christmas socks and I have no idea where my Christmas socks are right now. Which is kind of weird because there's not many places they could be. I'm sure I'll find them in the next month or two. But anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Yeah, I think that's it for the video today. I pretty much did all the things that I wanted to do and hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me. But anyways, if you're still watching to the end of this video, I have a little fun secret surprise for you. And the secret surprise is that I've just officially cinched my first sponsorship like for real which is so crazy because i'm like such a tiny little youtuber it's all because of you guys that you made this happen and you follow along and you subscribe and you like and you comment and get my videos out to new people and everything so the only thing that i will ask you to do i'll let you know when the time comes but the sponsorship will be later on in the month and I needed to try and get as many views as it possibly can. So the best thing you can do when the time comes is just like and comment and make sure you're subscribed. That's really the best thing that you can do for my channel in general. This is just kind of like a tiny rant and then I promise I'll go. But yeah, that's pretty much the best thing you can do for my channel. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And I know it sounds so silly because like everyone says it at the end of their videos, but like seriously, it's the easiest and it's free and it really just helps my videos get out to more people and the more people that see it, the more subscribers I can get and then the more that I can eventually make off of YouTube in terms of money and that way I can just spend more time doing it and giving you guys even better content because right now the imposter syndrome in me or at least the perfectionist in me kind of just sees my content as like, I don't know, not as good quality as I know it could be, but the fact that you guys are enjoying it just makes it all worth it and makes me so happy because the community that we've built already is just everything to me. So um, that's it. My little sappy rant is over. If you've watched to the end, I love you. You're a real one. Uh, that's that's all for today. Uh, let me Let me give you guys your day back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then. I'm sending you all my love because we are all just trying our best out here and we're doing a great job. So yeah, that's it. Bye.